one believing that God will give you a fresh start uh, intellectually, educationally, this year in Jesus' name. Amen. We all knew the story of Thomas Edison who invented the light bulb. It was said that he performed over 300 experiments before the final one succeeded. So, failure, many a time, is education. You learn one more way of not how to do it. So you can always learn from setbacks and failures. They don't have to be the end. It's a learning process. It's how you relate to it that matters. So for everyone who has failed, I'm praying you will have a second chance Amen. this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Financially or economically, God wants to give you also a second chance. And I said, for those in business, why will you have a fresh start? It can be on account of the fact that the business you had started had failed. Or you are currently handling a, a business that you want to start another one. Not closing down the first one, but you start another line. That's diversifying. So God wants to visit those people who have failed in business. Those who are currently in business, God wants to give you fresh ideas of new things to start. And yesterday I went to do a brief study on the internet on people who had failed before and have now a fresh start and have made huge success of new opportunities that they were given. A few of the examples, Henry Ford that started uh, more or less the motor industry, started the Ford cars that is reading globally today. He started an automobile company before the Ford factory that failed. And it was said that most of the cars that he was producing at that time were of cheap quality and they were too expensive. They didn't give up, he kept at it. He kept at it until he had a breakthrough with one car that did one uh, 40, got to 40 miles per hour in one second. Then, they found a way of making it cheaper and cheaper and until it became affordable for many people. And that was when the breakthrough started. It was said of Fred Smith, the man that started FedEx to deliver mail overnight. Many of you had received mails through or parcels through FedEx. This business began to do well immediately. Then it started a new line. It be diversified to begin to deliver mails electronically. Something like that. But this met with huge failure. And they said in two years, the company had lost $305 million just on that venture. Then they reappraised themselves and said, this is not what we should be doing. We should go back to our original vision. Just focus on what we do best. And since about 87 or so, that, that glitch happened, in 2010, FedEx is worth $35 billion now because they focused on what they knew to do. Bill Gates, second richest man in the world now, started 
when he dropped out of school, started with a friend. And they said what they were doing was to write some programs for government, to do something with government. But then the state of Washington began to make what they were doing freely available to everybody. So that, of course, no more business. So they sat down again and began to think, what do we do next? So they said, we'll write Microsoft for a computer that does not exist then. They don't have it then. They began to write that software, Microsoft. And that's what's giving them the breakthrough. It's about one of the biggest companies in the world now. Cornel Sanders, the man that uh, started KFC. I eat KFC some Sundays now. <laughs> he had his restaurant and motel in a location, but in that city, they built a new bypass, like a new motorway. And he cut off where the restaurant and the motel was. And that's how the business ran bankrupt. He went out of business. He began to go in debt. He began to think what to do next. Then he said, We'll go on the road to sell franchise for that business. And so, KFC has gone all over the world. For women, we can relate to this more. Mary Kay. The founder worked for 23 years in a company and saw that even men who she trained were being promoted over her. So out of frustration, she left. Began to write uh, business ideas for women, how women can do their business or run it better, until she realized that all that she was doing was to write a business plan for herself. So she started the Mary Kate business and worth about 2.5 billion a few years back. So those are people who had encountered failure in business, but they didn't allow the failure to put them down. They took opportunities that came their way again, they started again. So in every failure that you have had, I pray that you will seize new opportunities Amen. this year in Jesus' name. Amen. And we have a good example of somebody that had diversified successfully. is Richard Branson with the Virgin brand. Virgin virtually does everything. Everything that you can imagine. So the sky really is the limit. Physically, I'm praying that there will be new marriages. Amen. God will bring people to meet with their bones, the bones of their bones, and the flesh of their flesh. Amen. Now, this is the church. And the church is different from the world. Marriage happens to be one of the most important institutions, in fact, the most important institution according to the Bible. So it must be preached in the church that this is God's standard, this is what we stand for. There is no union between a man and a woman outside of marriage. It is not allowed. God does not allow it. God would rather that you marry before you have sex. I'm saying that for the benefit of young people in church. It may be the fashion in the world, but the world is controlled by the devil. We are in the kingdom of God, and in the kingdom of God, the rule of God prevails. It's what God says that goes. I also realize that